Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are actually going to be doing a request by a couple of you. A couple of you have asked me to do a full in-depth jewelry collection video. I don't have a whole bunch of them. I am someone who is very like simplistic and very minimal. We're gonna kind of just break it down. I'm gonna show you all the ones that I have. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a full try on portion. If I do, it'll be at the end. If you guys wanna see my full in-depth septum jewelry collection, then let's get started. A few things that I know I'm gonna get questions on is what gauge is my septum piercing and what is the size of the jewelry that I wear. So my septum is pierced at a 16 gauge and the diameter for all of my rings is 10 millimeters. I think how we're gonna start this is we're gonna start with the cheapest and work our way to the most expensive. And the first category that I have is from Body Candy. So all the ones I'm about to show you are from Body Candy. The very first one that I want to show you is one that is kind of out there and one that I've only worn a couple of times and like I said this one's from Body Candy but it is this little guy right here. I got this around Halloween time maybe like a couple years ago and it is the 16 gauge clicker and as you can see all around the base of it are all of these cute tiny little skulls. It is so freaking cute and it actually looks pretty decent in. I thought when I got this it was going to look a little bit dramatic and a little bit too much, but it actually doesn't look too bad. I really, really like this one. The next one that I'm gonna quickly show you is the one that I currently have in. I literally have eight of these. <laughs> these just this like basic horseshoe style. This is what I wear most often in my septum, so I always like to get a whole bunch of those and just kind of stockpile them. So I literally have like eight of them, but here's what it looks like when it's not in my nose. It's just this basic horseshoe with little silver balls on the end. Next one that is very similar to these, but this one has a little bit of a twist on it. This one is your 16 gauge 10 millimeter horseshoe. And on the end, instead of the little ball, it has the little spikes right here, which I think is very, very cute. It definitely adds like more of a badass look to your septum. But I will say that these little spikes are quite sharp. So if they do accidentally ever poke you, um, it's not the most comfortable feeling in the world, that's for sure. This next one that I have is technically supposed to be like a CBR, but I don't ever wear the ball on them because if you guys have ever worn CBRs in any of your piercings, they are so incredibly tedious to work with, but I just took the ball out and left it out and I just have this little guy. This is just what that one looks like. It's just basic. I basically just wear it like this sometimes and I don't put the little ball on the end so it's just open. I don't I don't wear this one very often, but it's just something there that I can easily slip in. And it's also very small and discreet, so if I do wanna have more of like a minimal look in my septum, then I will just throw this guy on. Next one, I adore this one so incredibly much, but the issue with this one, it is a little too small. Oh, and I'm so bummed because I love this one. Now it is this this beautiful, gorgeous blue clicker right here. Again, this is a 16 gauge, but my issue with this one is that the diameter is too small. I want to say it's maybe like eight millimeters. This one is a little bit tight and after a while, it hurts my nose so freaking bad. Like I can't even describe to you guys how bad this makes my nose hurt. Like the first couple of days, it's fine. And then if I wear it for more than two days, holy hell, my nose screams and cries but nonetheless this one is absolutely beautiful it photographs really well so I do like to wear this one in pictures I let's see if I had to pick like a favorite style of septum rings it would probably have to be clickers just because I find them the most easy to put in and take out honestly my least favorite is probably like the little horseshoes with the little balls on the end because it is so hard to get those little things screwed on. If you guys are unfamiliar with how clickers work, I will probably do a separate video on how to put in and take out a clicker. Next one I wanna show you is one of my other favorite ones and that is just like this one, but it is just this plain black one right here. So it's just a 16 gauge 10 millimeter black horseshoe with the little black balls on the end. This one 
one was from Lulu's Body Jewelry, but I know you can get these pretty much anywhere. This is a pretty like common piece of jewelry, honestly. And this is actually my second one of these because if you guys remember back when I did the Lulu's Body Jewelry haul video, I lost one of the balls from the black one and it literally like disappeared out of thin air it was the most it was just such a wild experience so this one i am definitely more careful with because i do not want to ever lose one of these little black balls they were nice enough to send me a replacement so now i have this one and fingers crossed knock on wood we've had really really good luck with not losing this guy so moving on to the next couple ones that i have these ones are all from ofer body jewelry i did recently do a haul with them on my channel maybe like a few months ago or something and i love that site like if you're looking for pretty bright colors really unique jewelry definitely check out ofer not sponsored they they just have really good shit and i really wanted to share it with you guys so this first one is one of my favorite clickers that i own and that is this guy right here you guys have definitely seen me wear this in videos before but it is this beautiful purple gem clicker again it has the little clasp right up here so you just unclick it clicks down nice and secure this one is so freaking pretty this shines so beautifully I absolutely love this one so much I do wear this one quite a bit probably out of all the clickers that I have I do wear this one the most next piece that I got from Ofer is probably the number one septum ring that I always always get questions on and where did you get that oh my gosh I love that where did you get that and that is this beautiful baby pink septum ring. This is from Ofer Body Jewelry. They have a ton of these on their site and came in a pack of two. So you get two in the little package, which I think is really nice. But it is this beautiful, gorgeous baby pink color. You guys love when I wear this one. I always get questions when I do wear this one. And it's really, really pretty. It's really flattering. Again, 16 gauge. 10 millimeter externally threaded and the balls are actually a pretty decent size so I don't have too big of an issue putting this one in my septum so this one is definitely a win I do wear these quite often as well okay moving on to the last three septum rings that I have these are more or less like the seamless or the bendable septum rings these are my most expensive ones these were actually from Pata Pata Jewelry if you guys want to follow them on Instagram she hand makes literally everything and we collabed oh gosh it was like a few years ago now but she sent me a few of the pieces and they're gorgeous now you're going to be able to tell when I show you these that these are very very well used I I wear these all the time well the first one that I'm going to show you and this is probably the one that I've worn the most and that is this guy right here come on focus there we go and it is this little seamless ring and I believe all of these are gold and I for white gold I'm pretty sure I'm not like don't quote me okay this one I definitely get the most use out of it's just the silver ring and then on the very ends it kind of has these like cute little ball designs it's really really cute and how you put these in is as you can see right there on the end there is a little bit of an opening now the one thing I'm going to tell you guys is never ever ever take these open them like this that is a no-go and you do run the risk of breaking the jewelry the best way to get these open and put these in open like this and put it in and then you bend it back down in place you never want to open it the other way because you do run the risk of breaking it and I have never had an issue they do bend pretty easily this next one is the one that literally looks identical to the last one I just showed you but this one is in a beautiful gold color and I do love this one I don't wear it very often because I don't own a whole lot of gold jewelry and I feel like it would look weird if I had like you know silver nose rings with like a gold septum I don't know would that look weird do you guys think that looks weird maybe it's just like my matchy matchy kind of personality but this one is absolutely beautiful these ones are definitely a little bit more expensive just because they are custom they are all handmade so they do run a little bit more expensive but honestly if you know especially a septum piercing I feel like a septum piercing is one of those piercings where you can literally have 
forever and ever and ever and ever and never have any issues with them so i feel like spending a little bit more money on septum jewelry isn't too bad this next one is very similar to the first two but this one instead of the little ball pearl detail on the outside it actually just has a little tiny string of it right on the inside there they don't move or anything like they don't wiggle or anything it's just kind of in there and again it's the exact same design you okay, so here's what i'm going to do for the try on portion i'm going to try on all of my clickers for you guys just to show you what they look like in and I will also show you what this little gold one looks like in but as the rest of them I'm not gonna fuck with because I don't want to risk losing any of the little balls and I do have nails on so there's just no way I'm gonna be able to like get in there with these nails and like screw on all these tiny little balls so I will say though definitely go on Amazon and get yourself a pair of hemostats these are what I use a lot for my septum jewelry. Now these ones are very, very large as you can see. Like these are like large and in charge. Just get like a little pair of hemostats and it will help you kind of grip the balls better and kind of like unscrew them. I will do a quick little try on portion of all of the clickers and one of the seamless ones just so you guys can kind of get an idea of what they look like in. So cue that footage right now. everything for my septum jewelry collection slash mini try on on some of my more exciting looking ones we hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did and you are a piercing fanatic like myself make sure you go down and give this video a huge giant thumbs up also if you are new to my channel and this is the first video of mine that you are seeing first off i just want to welcome you thank you for coming to my shit show <laughs> to go down and hit that red subscribe button i do upload every three to four days here but as the rest of you i love you guys so very much and i will see you very soon in my next video i love you guys bye